Ow. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Good start, Phoenix. Good we're, start. We're never going to. Um, no, 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 we got this. We got this. No, we don't. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be enjoying some more Japanese snacks directly from Japan. And uh, yeah, this time, the snacks are going to be a little bit different from what you guys are used to seeing on the channel because uh, we got something a bit different here, as you can see. A big shout out to Boxu for sending this over. Now, this is a sponsored video. I just want to get that out of the way first. But it's not going to affect our opinions, our review of how good the snacks actually are. But I have heard some very good things about Boxu, so I'm very excited to uh, check it out. Now, the box is very simple as you can see, just orange on all sides. Uh, on the front here it says premium Japanese snacks. And I believe this is the Boxu logo. And uh, Phoenix, are you excited? Yeah. It's different, right? It's a, it's a bit smaller than what we're used to. Yeah. But uh, there are a lot of snacks in there. I mean, I'm I can, excited. If, it's heavy. It's heavy. There's there's definitely a lot of content in yeah. there. Now, uh, one thing I want to quickly say is that if you guys uh, enjoy this video or you guys are interested in getting a Boxu subscription box for yourself, then make sure to head down to the link in my description and don't forget to use my code TIGER10 for 10% off your own premium Japanese snack box subscription and uh, thank you to Boxu for sending this over so with all that said let's open this up let's see what it looks like inside okay. here we go there's some paper <laughs> okay, so we got a card, and we also have, it looks like a little pamphlet. Yeah. Interesting, there are the snacks. There's a bunch, there's multiple pages in this. It's a, it's a big pamphlet, right? Yeah. Okay, so why don't we put that to the side first, and we'll do our, you know, usual uh, thumbnail picture. Okay. Here we go. Okay, um, we probably have something, but just in case, I'm gonna get my phone. You see my phone? Mm. Okay, so got a picture here with my phone as well, just in case I want to use that for the thumbnail. Perfect. And now we're ready to dig into this box and try out some snacks. Now, actually before that, let me see what these pamphlets uh, are for. So this is a thank you postcard from the founder, uh, I think it's Danny Tang. He says, thank you, since my early days of living in Japan, I've loved discovering delicious snacks from local Japanese snack makers, which is why I'm thrilled to present you this first box curated across the culturally rich regions and seasons of Japan. Um, I would also like to wholeheartedly thank and welcome you to the Boxu family with an active membership. In addition to receiving monthly themed snack boxes, you can get a member exclusive discount on all orders in the Boxu market, join our thriving global community, gain access to exclusive, exclusive online content, and so much more. Happy snacking, Danny Tang, founder. That's awesome. Shout out to Danny for this uh, very delicious looking box, which I haven't tried yet, but it looks good for sure. Yeah. And uh, this pamphlet, I think, is just so it says Seasons of Japan on the front here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that's a little bit blurry, but it says Seasons of Japan. It's got some really nice pictures in there. It says like, welcome to Boxu. Um, I think there's a description of just like different things in Japan. Now we're not gonna go through the entire pamphlet obviously, but there's a lot of really cool information, you know, about like spring, summer, autumn, winter. Um, the various kinds of snacks that I think they offer in here. Wow. Ooh, there's also like a map. Like a little map of like where all the snacks are from, like which region of Japan each of them are, um, you know, originated from. Um, yeah, very cool pamphlet. I'll take my time to go through it in a bit. But for now, I'm sure you guys are interested uh, more so in what's going on over here. So Phoenix, why don't we do our standard thing and just take turns choosing snacks. Okay. So uh, just pick something, go for it. Uh, I really wanted to tr uh, try this. Okay, so this is the, what, kabocha? Kabocha pumpkin and pan. This delicious and pan is filled with shy shiro and white bean paste and kabocha pumpkin. Pair them up with a cup of tea to savor the rich 
autumn of autumn of flavors. The rich autumn null flavors. Yeah. So it tells you the flavor, which is sweet. It says it's vegetarian, and also um, it gives you allergy warnings. So it says it has eggs and wheat. Okay, so I don't think we're allergic to either of those, so we're yeah. good. But why don't you go for that, Phoenix? Let me know how it tastes. Mm. Hmm. I'll take this side. Okay. Okay. So there's the inside. It's a yellow paste filling, and. It I gotta tastes, say, it tastes like pumpkin. It's quite good. Yeah, it's definitely pumpkin. And even though it's kind of sweet, like it's very subtle. Yeah. Right. It's a very subtle sweetness, which is good. I actually like that a lot more than like really, really sweet. And you know what? It's also like very. It tastes fresh. You know what yeah. I mean? like, it tastes like it. It we just. Like it was just made recently, mm -hmm. you know, it's not stale at all. And sometimes I find with like these snack boxes, I'm not going to mention any names, but sometimes some of these snacks can be a bit stale because you feel like it's been like, you know, in there or it's been in storage for quite some time, right? So that was actually really, really good. It was moist. Yeah. I know a lot of people don't like that word, but it was, it was moist <laughs> and it was really good, man. It was really delicious. So I'm going to give that like a solid 8 out of 10 mm. to start. I, I don't want to go too high uh, to start off, but okay. I'll also give it an 8. I think I'll choose this. Wait, Ooh, is there? I have two of those. Yeah, so one for it. Yes. One for each other. Uh, white strawberry. This is the world's first chocolate infused strawberry. Strawberries are harvested, freeze dried, infused with white chocolate and cooled. For chocolate uh, with all the flavor of a fresh strawberry. Oh, okay. So it's like a, yeah, it's a dried strawberry. Mm. But it's infused with white chocolate. Yeah. That's what they say. Okay, so it's an actual strawberry. Mmm. Oh. It tastes like. What was that? It's like chocolate. It's weird, like. It is kind of a filling, but at the same time, it's like the whole strawberry was just like made of chocolate combined with the the, the white chocolate. Yeah, it's like, mm. it's like it's almost like the strawberry was made of chocolate, you know? Yeah. But it's an actual strawberry. That's really cool. It's like a chocolate strawberry, but like not like a regular. It's not just the chocolate covered strawberry. It's like a yeah fusion of I strawberry it would be and a chocolate. chocolate covered one. No, no, it's like a fusion of strawberry and chocolate. That, that, it's like one of the coolest snacks I've ever had. Yeah, I would give it uh, a nine. A nine? Me too, me too. That's that's super cool. This is gonna be the next snack we're gonna try. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you find the actual yeah, snack? Yeah, but I don't know the... how to say it. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna read this one. Why okay. don't you open it? It says, Funwari Majin Mochi Puffs. Uh, Hinako. So, uh, Ichigo Seika transforms mochi into the crisp and airy texture of this cloud-like confection using a secret proprietary process. The puffs are finished with a dusting of Kinako, roasted soybean powder, for a wildly addicting sweet nutty flavor. Okay, mm. sounds good. So it's a, um, it's a crispy mochi ball, apparently. So you know how mochi balls usually are, like, uh, sticky, right? Yeah. Usually like chewy, but this one is like a puff ball. Mmm. Whoa. I don't know if it's just me, but it tastes a little like peanut butter. It does taste like peanut butter, even though there's no peanuts in here. Yeah. It says the only common, common allergen soy. is soy. So it does taste like peanut butter though. It's very peanutty actually. Dude, that is so good though. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, it's like so light and airy, like it like melts in your mouth. I'm I'm really enjoying this box, Phoenix. Like this is honestly like <laughs> some of the most unique snacks I've ever had. Yeah. And also just some of the most delicious. Ashigara green tea aranami kurofuji. Very cool. Okay, yeah. so we'll have these later. 
And the next snack, I think it's Phoenix's choice. Mm -hmm. So go for it, Phoenix. Um, I that looks pretty cool. This. Yeah? Okay. So this is the uni rice cracker. Um, these delicious fried crackers pull their lovely umami flavor from uni, sea urchin, and soy sauce. It's savory and salty without being overly fishy. And the cracker's oblong shape even looks like an actual sea urchin. Interesting. Okay. So we got little uni um, or sea urchin crackers, basically. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy you got savory. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's really good. You know, I've always said I prefer savory to sweet. Yeah. A lot of times. Like, I like sweet, but if you gave me the choice, I would always take a savory snack. Yeah. Over a sweet snack. And this is very, very good, guys. Super crunchy. Super crunchy, and I finished the last one, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you mad? There are only a few, there are only a few, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, it's a small package, but man, that is so good. 9.5, mm. what do you say? Nine. Nine, nine, nine. I'm, I'm gonna say nine. I think I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Nine. I think nine is, is, is fair, nine is accurate. But like a lot of these snacks have just been just like hit after hit after hit, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go for this big uh, cookie thing with like a bear on it. There you go. Should I se uh, separate it? Um, I don't think I wanna have the whole thing to be honest. I'm just gonna have a piece. Okay. Cause I'm still trying to, you know, keep things fairly healthy and these are delicious, but I just can't have too much, you know? So let's okay. just have like a little piece each. I'll show people, hold on, hold on, oh, oh okay, well, uh -huh. Phoenix broke it, but there you go. <laughs> that is the uh, cookie, it looks like sesame and peanuts and actually a bunch of different nuts um, in there. So, uh -uh. what? You're not allergic to, to nuts, you're good. <laughs> These nuts. What was that? These nuts. <sighs> just had to, just had to get that in there, right? Eh? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna try to find this black sesame taiko kumamon design, mm. or kumamon. Each of these seedy drums are handmade in Kumamoto, hometown of Kumamon, by roasting almonds and sesame seeds and mixing them uh, by hand with mizuame, um, which is su uh, sugar syrup over heat. Uh, they're then hand pressed into discs and left to cool into this deliciously nutty snack. Very cool. So common allergens are tree nuts and soy. And I'm gonna try a piece right here. Freaking delicious, man. Yep. Freaking delicious. Oh my god. Like, I don't wanna have too much, but... 8.9. If you like sesame, you're gonna love this. Yep. Yeah, no, this it, it's it's like a lot of sesame, of course. Um, just sweet enough, just like the, uh, the the pumpkin pancake thing we had before. Sweet, but a subtle sweetness. Like nothing so far has been like too sweet um, at all. And that is, I'm, I'm gonna save the rest for you, mm -hmm. Phoenix, but I, I love that. Uh, we have another cookie here. This is like an actual cookie, it looks like. And you know what, why don't you open it? I'll do the reading from now on. Is that okay? Yeah. Just to speed things up a little bit here. Kind of hard. Um, this one is a Almori Apple Caramel Yakoi Sable. This cookie uses apples exclusively from Almori, Japan's apple prefecture. The addition of a sweet apple caramel butter gives this sable style cookie a yakoi or soft and chewy texture. And it includes milk, eggs, wheat, and soy. It's sweet and is also vegetarian. Okay, so I'm gonna have a chunk of this cookie. Here you go. Mm. It's not hard actually, it, yeah. it, it, it's soft. Hmm. To be honest, I don't know if I like it that much. I like it. Mm. I like caramel a lot though. I know you're not like a huge fan of caramel, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I like caramel a lot. That's a, 
That's a good, like a solid 8.5 for me. I'm gonna do like an 8. 7.5. 7. 7.5. 7. 7. It's, it's better. Yeah. It's better. Phoenix, you want to try this fish? Sure. The Puka Puka. I mean, I'm not gonna read the description for this one because it's it's kind of similar to stuff we've had on the channel before. Yeah. Um, but let me show you guys. You got the red fish, the gold fish on the front, and it's gonna be a fish shaped cracker. Ooh, it's not cracked. As such, but it is actually intact this time. Yeah. As usually they're like already broken. So take a bite. Take a bite. Go for it. Take a big bite. Nice. Okay, the filling is chocolate, yes? Well. Chocolate filling. Mm. Oh. You know, this filling is kind of different. Yeah. It's really, like, <laughs> I hate to use the word again, but moist, right? Yeah. The chocolate is moist, it tastes I think it's the freshness, honestly. Like, I think these snacks are, haven't been, you know, sitting for a long time. So they're actually uh, a lot a lot fresher than what we're Eight used to getting. Point four. Sure. Next up, I'm gonna try this. This Whoa, looks that's interesting. Different. This looks interesting. Whoa. But some kind of stick. Fries. It's some kind of potato stick or? It's fries. But it's like it's, it's like those you know hick hickory fries. sticks, right? It's fries. Not, it's, it's not fries. Fries. I'm telling you, Phoenix, it's not fries. Okay. But you know hickory sticks? Mm, yeah. Yeah. So it's shaped like hickory sticks. Obviously, I'm sure it's a different flavor. Fries. But it's not fries. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, let me find out exactly what it is. I'll let you know. Uh, this is stick potato. <laughs> okay, fries. Stick, stick potato. Mm. Sapa mucho plum. So, like an ode to the Japanese plum tree, every bite of these thin, crispy uh, potato sticks carries the floral notes of plum blossoms, the sourness of umeboshi, which is pickled plum, and the earthiness of shiso, which is perilla leaves. Interesting. So it's plum-flavored potato sticks, or as Phoenix likes to call them, fries. <laughs> plum-flavored potato sticks. It, it's a very small opening you made here, Phoenix. You can barely get them out. Okay, here you go. So, there you go, guys. There's little sticks. Mm. Ooh. They're sweet. Yeah. And sour. Yeah. Like a plum. It's sweet and sour, plum flavor. Mm. That's very interesting, actually. Like, I don't, I don't know exactly what to call it, like, it, 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 it's, it's almost like savory and sweet at the same time, right? Yeah. Because the plum flavor is kind of savory. Yeah. But it's also sweet. It's also sour. There's a lot of different flavors going on in my mouth right now. I don't know if I like savory and sour. It's tangy. Yeah, tangy. That's the right word, right? It's tangy. I think it's great. That's going to get a... 8.7 mm, I'll me. give it an 8. An 8? Yeah. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, let's put that to the side. We'll finish that later. Uh, Phoenix, you want to pick? You also picked for me. <laughs> My bad. Oh, I got some mochi. Yeah. Why don't we save one of these? Okay. You want to put one to the side? I wonder if we had these already. They look familiar, huh? Yeah. Okay, mochi balls. Let me actually get a close-up for you guys. Mochi balls. All right, there you go. They got like faces on each of the each of the balls there, <laughs> and um, I think we get little. St oh, we don't get sticks, but Aww. that's okay. We don't need sticks. Let's just grab them with our hands. Can't you just? Uh... Okay, here we go. Which one do you want? The... Green, pink, yellow. Uh, I think it's white, but okay. It looks yellow to me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for the green one. Mmm. Mm. That's some good mochi. Okay, let's share that one. Eat half, I'll have the other half. Thank you. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love mochi. I love mochi so much. That's an easy nine for me. 8.4. Yeah, love that. Nine for me, 8.4 for Phoenix. And I've got a few more things in here. Uh, let's do, hmm. You know, this looks interesting. It's got some people, some kids playing music on the wrapper. All right, so this is something. It is something. That is All accurate. Right. It is something. Oh, you got it everywhere. <laughs> Great job, Phoenix. Don Don Yaki, named after the sound of the beating taiko drums. Heard throughout festivals in Japan, these savory senbei are fried and marinated in tonkatsu sauce for a flavor that is tangy, peppery, and a little sweet. Um, very cool. Okay, I like that. Wait, are these on the gr were these from the ground? No. Nope. Where are the ones from the ground? Oh. Can I find them? Yeah. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, let's try these. Ooh. I'll give it an eight. These are savory. Very soy saucy. Quite soy saucy. It's also a little sour, which I don't like with savory. It's not sour at all. Mm. I don't get any sour. It's just a very strong, to me, like soy sauce flavor. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Eight. But I think eight is good. For some reason, there's a peanut in here. There was a single peanut in the package? Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? You see? I ate them. You ate the peanut? Yeah. Were there's only, was there only one peanut? I think so. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> okay. So anyways. Oh, this is the second one? This, they gave us two packages, so we'll save this one. Yay, one peanut per package. Okay, so what is this? What is this? Hey, it is looks it like... Turn? Is it? Uh, you chose that one. Okay. Okay. Mm. It's not that many choices. I wanted to do this. Not to that, do that one? Yeah. Okay. What is it? Uh, these two are the same, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're the same. Okay. So on the front it says pear fromage biscuit, which to me means pear cheese biscuit. Let's see if I'm right. Because I know a little bit of French and I know fromage is cheese. Um, let's see. 20th century pear. This delicate biscuit is a luxurious blend of 20th century Asian pear, rich cheese, and decadent white chocolate. Ooh, okay. So it's a little cookie sandwich, actually. There's two cookies in the middle. There's the, I guess, cheese and white chocolate. I don't really get the cheese. Maybe the slightest bit cheesy, but definitely get the white chocolate. I love a bit of pear. Like the aftertaste is more pear. But that's very rich. That's a very rich cookie. I like that cookie a lot. Yeah. Did you open the second package too? Yeah. What? We're gonna save that. Well, no, it's too late now. Not it's too late now. <laughs> okay, well, you enjoy that. I really actually like that a lot. I'm gonna give that a 9.2. Nine, 9. Okay. It's a 9.2 for me. And I like how you said you got it, you, you didn't like this too much, but you ate the whole package. <laughs> he gives it an eight and then he eats the whole thing. Fine, I give it an 8.5. Oh, there you go, that's more fair, I think. Um, let's, let's, let's take out this one big package that's remaining. And we have a few small things, or two small things left. So this is Satuchi Sudachi. Hopefully it's savory. Satuchi Sudachi. I feel like it's gonna be sweet, actually. Let's see, um, this one is, hmm, I do not see it. Oh, seaweed tempura, yeah. it is savory, it is savory, seaweed tempura. These addictive seaweed sheets are battered, fried, and flavored with native Japanese sudachi citrus to create a crisp uh -oh. and tangy snack that will leave your taste buds tingling. Yeah. It contains shell uh, shellfish. Shellfish. Ooh, it has a uh, seaweed. Ah, very cool. Okay, so it's like a little cracker, like a fried cracker with seaweed on the back. See that? That's cool. 
Mm. Oh. That is good. Yeah. That is so good. For some reason, I taste tea. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. Phoenix. Hmm? Are you ready for this? What? Are you ready for me to give my first 10 mm. of the video? That's a 10 for me. Mm. That's a 10. That's a perfect snack. Oh my. I love seaweed. And this is just like the perfect seaweed thing. I don't know, man. So. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? Mm, I don't really like tangy though. <laughs> okay. With my That's fair. We have different tastes. We have different tastes. So Even though we're brothers, it, uh, we have different we have different uh, preferences when it comes to snacks. I'll so give it an 8.5. This this really shouldn't come as a surprise. 8.5 I think is blasphemous. I think that is insane. But I respect it. I respect your your decision, Phoenix. As you finish that 8 out of 10, apparently, snack <laughs> that you weren't a huge fan of. This is going to be mine, okay? okay. This, this, is, this is mine. I, I'm keeping this. That's mine, then. The yuzu sake candy? Yeah. Just don't get drunk, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can't have it. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is the cute selection. It looks like a green tea-like cake thing. Yeah. Green tea cake. What, what happened? <laughs> Did you trip on yeah. a chair? <laughs> you trip sitting on a chair. Yeah. Uh, matcha chocolate stick cake. Matcha chocolate stick cake. This soft cake uses matcha from Uji Kyoto, which is known for its high quality matcha, pairing earthy matcha with bittersweet chocolate chips, giving this rich a, uh, this cake a rich, subtle, sweet flavor. Gives it a sus flavor. Okay, here we go. Looks like cake. Matcha chocolate cake. That looks delightful. All right, Phoenix, let's split it in half. Oh, can I have the bigger one? There you go. Thanks. Enjoy. Mm. Tastes mm -hmm. like a brownie. Mm-hmm. Nine. Subtly sweet is right, yeah. It's, it's, it's only a little bit sweet. It's only yeah. a little bit sweet. And um, it's got the matcha flavor, which I'm a big fan of. I love matcha. Chocolate chips. It's also really airy. Very airy. Very airy. Very, very, very uh, moist <laughs> once again. <laughs> uh, how many times have I used that, used that word in this video? Three. A lot. Three? I, I, oh, yeah. I've used it to describe three snacks. And um, we got the last one. Got two of those, so we'll hold on to one of these. But uh, this is, I don't know, it looks like green beans or something like that. Yeah, it looks like green beans to me, it but. It is. What is it, Phoenix? Green beans. Edamame. Edamame senbei. Made with summer harvested edamame bits baked into the cracker, this senbei is sprinkled with kinako roasted soybean powder, and has a deliciously nutty crunch. Ooh, okay. What the? Ah. Looks like a cloud storage. <laughs> cloud storage. It does look like a cloud, actually. It's shaped like a cloud. So it looks like there's a lot of edamame, like, beans baked into this, like, um, cracker. And it is shaped like a cloud. <laughs> looks like something that you would store info in. Yeah, something you store info in. There you go. All right. All right, here we go, Phoenix. Well, that's crunchy. It's the most crunchy. That is mad crunchy. It's like a bean cracker. <laughs> Beans. It's tasty though. Yeah. I like the powder. I like the powder. It's, it's like uh, dusted in. That's uh, 8.5. 8.6. <laughs> Just gotta always one up me, huh? 8.5, 8.6, there you go, guys. Mm, okay, well, as you can see, 
we cleaned out the entire box. The entire box is done. We still got some leftovers, which we'll share with people. But those are all the snacks. And um, Phoenix, overall, what would you say about this box? How do you um, feel about it? Uh, most of my ratings were pretty high, so I'll give it... What? Long pause. Long pause. An eight point what? nine. Eight point nine? Yeah. This box gets a nine for me. Nine for me. Uh, that is probably the highest okay, I've rated any snack box I've ever tried. And that's because uh, for the most part, a, a lot of these snacks were very unique. There were things I've never tried before. There are things you can't really find in just like a Asian grocery store or Asian, you know, like snack store near me. Like, I do have quite a few of those uh, in the area which I can go to and like find a lot of things that you do get from like Japanese snack boxes. But this one, um, don't open it. Come on, Felix, save that, save that. <laughs> But this one has just a bunch of stuff that like I've never seen before and I've never tried before and I don't think you can find outside of Japan, which is exactly why you get stuff like this, right? Because you can't experience it in your area. And that's why, man, I really love this Boxu box, guys. Um, as I said, it's sponsored. This was sent to me for review, but we didn't really let it affect our opinions, right? And we just genuinely thought that a lot of these snacks were really, really tasty. So once again, guys, if you want to pick up your own uh, premium Japanese snack subscription box from Boxu, head over to the link in my description. Use my code TIGER10 for 10% off your purchase. And uh, shout out to Boxu for sending this over. It's freaking awesome. Can't wait for next month's box. And I guess that's gonna be the video. Phoenix, any other words before we get out of here? Uh, no. No words? Yeah. Any last words? Well, uh, I thought that the box was really good. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Shout out to Boxu? Yeah, shout out. Boxu. <laughs> shout out to Boxu. All right, well, we're gonna get out of here. Phoenix is actually probably a bit hungry because um, it's dinner time. I mean, even though the snacks, there were a lot of them, it still doesn't really hit the spot like actual food so yeah. yeah we're gonna go get dinner but um hope you guys enjoyed the video man thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it we're out of here until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger. This is Phoenix with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.